Also, I want to make something clear too. Have you watched any like lessons before? Um, um I sometimes watch like Zane's lessons with hu um husband, um, and some of Kadoran's like stuff. I think I got a Kadoran mini lesson as well on um when I played versus K once. Gotcha. Well, I will say, I think this will probably be pretty different than that because, you know, I'm not someone who has all the knowledge already. This is, I would probably, yeah, yeah, I just want to make that clear. Like, I'm just going to be walking you through, like, what my process would be for, like, analyzing this and, like, where to, like, find out the information or just how I would take it apart if I have, like, no knowledge to going out to figuring out, like, what should I be doing or, like, what can I take away from this, even if I don't have, like, the perfect knowledge that, like, the top players do, right? That they could just tell us. I just, I, I, I respect you as like a player and as like a person like with a with a smart mind. So that's just you know that's why you know that's why I asked you. Well, thank you. I mean, I, I disagree with all that stuff, but <laughs> you don't need to respect me. You don't need to think I'm smart. Any of that stuff. But I think I thank you for it. Anyways, um, so I think we'll just watch through this, and I think like whenever you watch melee replays, um. You're always going to see drop punishes. Like, th there's no game where you have 1.0 openings for kill, right? That's like impossible. Even if you play ICs and Wobbling's legal, I don't think it's possible. Um, so, like, we can just write all of them down, that type of thing, and we'll see if we think any of them are important enough. And honestly, I feel like we're just going to kind of watch it and see what we notice. And then, like, we'll see if there are any patterns type with it. If, like, there's stuff you have to figure out, like, like you're putting yourself into weird positions or you're choosing like a weird option or not recognizing stuff or like not cleaning up edge guards, that type of thing. We're just going to see what we watch. And um, like, I don't know that I'll, when we do play by plays, I'm going to have, you know, answers for you or anything, but we'll see what we can observe together. That's what I'm getting at. Sounds good for me. Just give me a second, actually. I'm gonna like... Sure. And uh, let me just check Discord that you can still see. Great. You can see like the replay gets messed up when you get rewind. Oh, yeah, Perfect. Like it's a weird like Rorschach thing. Yeah, it's it's melee art, honestly. So like <laughs> That's it. Okay, I'm good. Sweet. Then I'm going to start the replay. And yeah, feel free to interrupt and say if you want to pause, but otherwise I'm just going to like kind of let it go or like rewind stuff. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a little cheeky. I was wondering to see this. You got a plot here. Interesting. Yeah, I think. I think it's a little impatient. 
position to actually just stay on the ground, probably. I agree with that. Wow, that was genius. <laughs> We watched the one time through. Thoughts? Anything you want to write down as you think is important right now? Um, or if there's stocks you want to watch around. A lot better than I think I remembered it going. Um, mm -hmm. I think it just got really... I don't think my reactions were that good when I was doing like platform stuff. Like mm. when like, Sheik was on a platform. Uh, definitely was like a little antsy on trying to get in on Sheik, which is like... <laughs> really bad <laughs> um i think yeah just like being anti versus chic isn't really good uh and i think i'm just like it's something i'm still trying to work on a lot but like for, so yeah, for example when i was in the corner and i tried to go i like oh i need to get out of the corner so i went up to the platform mm -hmm. which she can just fair me and i have no really good response for it <laughs> Yeah, I totally agree. And wait, can you you told me one thing else? Like, when were you getting antsy in the corner? And there was another situation you said. Um, I think just in neutral, honestly. Um, I think sometimes I'm fine. I'm good on just like, all right, I'm gonna dash dance. I'm gonna like try and hold space. Um, like just do some like simple fares. Um, but then sometimes I feel like okay, Sheik is over there on a platform and she's like charging needles. And it's like, oh, oh no, I can't let this happen. And so I really feel like I, I get very internal pressure to go in on her at that point. Um, I think that's like, I think that happens a lot during the FD game. Um, but in general, I think in neutral, I like, I'm trying to always like, it's a conflict between like, all right, I need to like hold my space. And then other times like, oh, I gotta go in. I gotta go in. Um, I think there's also some minor tech clubs with like grabs and stuff, but that's just me. <laughs> I agree that there was that type of thing too. And I'm I think it'd be something worth rewatching for to see what they exactly are so you can practice them too. Sure. Um I mean I think this is actually pretty good for just an initial pass through. I think I noticed some other things that I'll point out when we watch this other time through. Like um yeah, we'll just watch it again. I don't know. Okay. I'll I'll pause it this time and let's let's be liberal with the pausing. Anything you want to talk about at all, let's pause. Sounds good. Okay, so this one's weird. I think she jumps into the air here, huh? Yeah. Or I don't know what happened actually. No, maybe maybe it just hit them. That nair should not is actually a pretty bad nair, I think, because <laughs> usually, like it, especially for she, because she can low prof like. Oh my god, I cannot. What? Wow, it, 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 the, there must have been like a hitbox right here or something. She tried to da yeah. dash through it, right, and it almost worked, um, but it was a really weird nair, yeah. And then she like, can low profile like the nair at like for most times I feel like and it's yeah. always like not a, it's not a really good move when like it's just she just low profiles it or she's like above it diagonally and then punches you for it. Um, I cannot believe that worked though. So okay, I have a question for you then. So you seem to think not that highly of nair. So what are you trying to get out of it then to use it? Usually it can like combo into other things. Um, it usually is good at breaking CC because it um, hits twice, um, and that's mostly it. And I feel like if Sheik is like jumping, it's good at catching her at that point. But I feel like I should just be fairing instead, if that's the case. Um, why do you think you should be fairing instead? 
Uh, I think it's what is it? It's definitely it's like faster than Nair. Um, and it also because of the arc, it's harder to get on like underneath uh, the fair, which she can do uh, with like with Nair, um, just like the way it arcs. Um, and also like, uh, yeah, and also and uh, it's definitely. I think that's mainly it, as like from my perspective on it. So like, yeah, I will say I I saw you do this type of narrow a couple times where basically, um, like if you have space to close, you do an approaching narrow like this, and oh my god, I have the worst habit about it where I want to like approach with narrow and I always know it's like not good. <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> approaching with narrow is like not the move. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely like a thing that people say. Don't do this. Don't do this. I mean, of course, it has. I'm sure some applications that I don't know of, but it it leaves you vulnerable for sure. Like if she. Uh, try to challenge it with short off fair or something, you would have lost that, right? Oh, yeah, exactly. So, like if she was still on the platform, she could just come down with a fair and, like, oh, yeah, <laughs> it's not protecting you, you know that, but um, yeah, but yeah, it's just something to notice. If you don't want to be doing this, then you should try to practice it in friendlies, not doing approaching there. Yeah, def oh, yeah, definitely. practice not doing approaching there. So, then what do you think? What do you think you should do instead if you if you would like to approach or like you know, do something then. What do you want to do instead? Uh, I want to approach either with, like, a fair, um, uh, and just sort of, like, yeah, just approach with a fair, um, or, like, wave dash in down tilt, although that's, like, very scary versus chic, because they just mm -hmm. face it really well, but, like, wave dash in down tilt or fair, probably. Um, and here's another... Do... Sorry, go for it. Uh, I think that's, like, the main two things with, like, Mark. And just to check, can you see my... Google Doc? Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. Um, okay, practice not doing approaching there. Do approaching fair instead. Maybe weighted dodge in down tilt. Um, I have a question for you too. Like, why do you feel the need to approach too? Like, can you, are you okay doing like take a little bit of space and then do like a walling move too? Um, oh, yeah, for, for certain. Yeah, also, yeah, just like I also don't need to approach. <laughs> also, yeah. not approaching is fine and just like, Doing like short hot double fares in place and like or just you know uh, things like that where it also totally probably also good <laughs> and just making putting pressure on cheek that way. Yeah, because basically what I was I was concerned with with this approaching fair also seems like has similar weaknesses to Nair, right? Except it's like a oh, yeah, it's like it's a little better just in case they're jumping, but like it's also really easy to crouch cancel and then get a punish off of it. Yeah, and I, hero. yeah, and I was thinking with this like. The end lag of fair is like worse than the nair, like the active hitbox, right? So it's like, oh, yeah, there's yeah. a lot of punishable time. Yeah. yeah. So, so I'm gonna say question mark. Uh, look up, uh, like, find examples of when this is actually good. Maybe wave dash and down tilt, sure. Um, do like short hop fairs in place. Um, another thing I could do, tell you to do, is just dash in. Like, don't do a move, right? Just take the space and, like, ASD, I dash. I'm going to pick up the map or, or just CC. Yeah, yeah. Actually, so I don't know what you, how you do it. Is like, the way to, like, hold, do ASD, I dab while dashing and just holding down on the C stick while you're dashing, and that's just it? Mm hmm That works, yeah. Okay. I, like, am really bad about it, and I need to get into the habit of doing it. Yeah, I mean, ideally, if you are doing true dash dancing, you just hold C stick down, right? So you can actually have full control over your dash dance. But um, that's sometimes awkward. Um, so like a lot of people just like, they kind of react to a situation where they're going to get hit. And before the, they actually do get hit, they hold down. But it's like, they're still in an animation of something else. So they get ASDI down instead of crouch. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I would consider, like, if you want to, if it, this is something you do not want in your gameplay, you should actively try to do friendlies with, like, like just, even if you're not, like, caring about the results of the game, just make yourself do these things so they become in your muscle memory. Not doing it in friendlies, definitely. Yeah. Um, and also, I mean, honestly, I would recommend, these are just ideas we came up with together, right? But the, the real thing you should do is, like, we should look at how Zane starts a game, right? Zane versus... Uh, I guess plop, right? I have, well, I have a good sense of how he starts the game. <laughs> I, I'm, okay. I'm pretty sure I know how he starts the game. Yeah, tell me, tell me then. What what is it then? I how does he do Zane, it? Whenever I watch him, he does dash dance, like sort of into center stage, maybe a little bit off center stage, 
um, shield stop, short hop aerial into more mm-hmm. dash dance, shield stop, short hop aerial. Yeah. Um, and to like just sort of like, uh, or like or if it, if it's versus Fox, probably it's like a down tilt instead, but still like versus most other people, it's gonna be like short hop, dash dance in place or d- dash dance in place, shield stop, aerial, and then keep on doing that. Um, I feel that's what normally happens. Whenever I watch Zane vods, anyway. <laughs> I totally agree. I think Zayn chooses a safe neutral option at the very beginning of the match. And, like, I feel like that's pretty reasonable. Like, it depends on your character, but sometimes you can just go for, like, a huge gamble at the beginning of the game. <laughs> it's really funny. Like, I don't know if you've... Yeah, I'm gonna side B right at him. Yeah, like, you could do that. Or if you're Puff, you can literally try to grab them at the beginning of the game. Like, just go for, like, something that's Sakurai angles so they can't CC it well, and then you try to get a grab. And, like, yeah. Um, so let's let's watch and see if oh what is this? Oh, because uh, the 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 vods were taken down from it because it was the Slippy's Champions League. So okay, yeah. So let's watch this. A little bit of dash dancing, right? And then Zane does take center. He uses a double jump here, which is you know like oh man, double jumping so early, but zero percent center stage, not gonna die. But fair, and actually Zane moves forward a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it looks like dash dancing. Let's let's see the other stocks or the other games. This is an FD game, so a little bit different. But when they both have invincibility, like how do they act, right? Oh I my think God, it's... I remember that. Like, it's so funny. Shield stop, you're right. But yeah, usually Zane starts with dash in. And the thing is, okay, and the thing is, like, unless you're trying to bait them in, you don't throw out aerials when they're not going to hit. Like, and surprisingly, your Nair hit, right? She, you know, one place. I think that was actually a reasonable spacing because uh, she, she was in the corner here. Like, you took the space, right? Like, this was actually a pretty reasonable Nair. But it's something to note for, like, some of the other Nairs I saw. Like, sometimes you Nair when, like, she's, like, on the top platform or something like that. Yeah, like this. It's a very bad habit of mine to, like, I just really like Nair. <laughs> so I'll just, like, throw it out even when it's like, yeah, they're above me. And I should, like, up air. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. And honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, if you just did Nair in place here, right, then I feel like you would have been more confident that it would have gotten the hit. Because, like, I think you doubted that you got the hit, which is why you did dash back here afterwards, right? You're like, oh, shit. <laughs> but you actually had the... Yeah, you actually had the frame advantage, yeah. So... Um, but yeah. Zane, Zane close the distance. And he usually starts with fair shield stop here. But I don't know if there's a real chance for shield stop, like... Or like what it really does, but maybe just adjust the spacing. But. Yeah, it it's a, it it um stops your drift. So like if you if he jumps there instead, like instead of the shield stop, he'll just like be drifting forward in the jump. But the shield mm-hmm. stop like completely ends his momentum. So he'll just jump and like have no drift on the jump. Oh, that was aggressive. But yeah, it, it seems like the way Zane is playing the neutral is you know. Walling fairs in place, pretty much. Or, like, slight drifts, but dash dancing. Yeah. Wow, did that kill? Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> That's crazy. That was so smart. Okay, we're gonna watch the, the openings of these games, so. She killed? That's so weird, but anyways. Oh, he's shielding for the needles, I see. I guess full hop, you, um, if you're a center stage, you know, you have double jump and then you have, um, either fast fall or like fade back, no fast fall in there, like type thing, or fair. So you can protect yourself pretty well, I think, but, and still take center, um, as long as you can react. We're going to watch this last one too. Okay, so he actually does the SF opening, <laughs> pretty much. The, SF, the patented SF opening. <laughs> look, look at this. And she, low problem has it, exactly like Yiggs would have done. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Although, I, I don't think it's that good, though. <laughs> no, I, don't, I really, I don't think it's that good. Okay. Like, versus Sheik, and like, it's like really good versus Falco, because Falco's tall enough for it to like, to normally mm-hmm. think if he's just like, running in place. But like, most of the time, it's like, well... This is just, they're just gonna low profile this. And get under me. Yeah, so I think, um, take center stage, full hop just threatening to send me fair on reaction. Seems like this is what Zane's strategy is, pretty much, um, yeah. for, for these few games at least. So there are some ideas you can play around with, but 
I, I guess he did go for an aggressive option here with the the last game we saw. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna actually write that down though. So, um, forward throw reaction to miss tech times one. We're gonna we're actually gonna count and see how important it is. I was definitely probably supposed to be an up tilt. <laughs> yeah, understandable. I'm curious here. So you got a fair, and then I think you just you narrow it out. Well, that seems reasonable, I guess. Yeah, I think my idea there is I want to like poke shield Sheik's legs if she's still shielding on mm -hmm. the platform. Makes um, sense. Which is there is like really good at for some reason, but. So a question for you here. What what, what should you do here? Do you know? Uh, let me see it again. You get up throw here at thirty percent, forty percent, forty one percent, and the fairy doesn't lead to anything, apparently. Yeah. We didn't tip her now. Yeah, I think I probably won't. I think because my understanding, maybe an upright is probably a little bit better there. I'm not totally sure because on the one hand, the tipper fair still sends like at the upward ish angle that like still mm -hmm. leads to like more of a juggle. It sends up with this, yeah. Like, yeah. Um, and the upper can like send in like if she, depending on how she DIs it. You can um, go like this way or this way, yeah. Yeah, exactly. But it's like if, if the spacing is bad, then you get the sour spot fair, then it's just not gonna be you're not in a good spot. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're both actionable here. So she could actually yeah. fair you. But actually you Oh, did you do another move there or is that what is that? I I, I, think, I think it was the, the up I think I did up air there. Oh like, what the like, that's the range. Oh yeah, this is up air coming out. Yeah. Oh interesting. Okay, so how did this drop happen too? I know we're just going over everything, but no, I would say I'm, I'm I'm, I'm up there. So I think you can double jump here, or um, wait, let's see. Did you get the fast follow too? So here you have um, granted you full hop. You do you do you do fast follow that, but I guess you needed to double jump. I'm trying to like get like under chic again. Mostly. Yeah. Instead of just like trying to get up to her height. But yeah, like if you analyze the value of those two, like I would say those are big openings. If you get up throw or if you get like a juicy up air possibility. So I'm gonna write those down too. So up throw follow ups at like 30 to like. 40 mid percents um up air follow-ups um how do i use like double jumps when do i like go for sh like uh like forfeit jump like comboing juggling Just and go to, like, like, to shark. yeah and shark on the ground so these are questions for you to like lab out so it's like you know less intuition or like you build it into your intuition what the actual like good options are but it's yeah. stuff you have to look into um and i mean honestly do you have any thoughts on these now like maybe you know already um i feel like i have a tendency to like i guess the way i see like the the juggling is always it's sort of like a vertical I, I the way i i read about it is uh, it's like a vertical footsies um, mm -hmm. where you're trying to like uh, when they're above you and you're below them. And I feel like I'm very lungy. I try to lunge at them when they're in the air, and I, like, burn my double jump trying to get up to them. Um, and it's usually never that good. So, like, for Marth, for example, the, like, side B stall, and, like, oh, I can't... Uh, that's down. They're going to get down to the ground kind of for free. Um, and I feel like I want to be a lot more, like, patient when I'm in that sort of situation. So, like, for versus, like, in that situation, I try to, like full hop up and get like hit them with a back air when most likely I should just be like trying to get under where they're landing and up tilt or like fair there or something like that instead. 
I think that's pretty reasonable. And like, this is also stuff that you, you know, you try to practice explicitly. Of course, it's it's impossible to practice like all this stuff at once, but you take it game by game or session by session. Um, I'm also curious to, I'm gonna look at this one more time. Yeah, the up throw, fair, rising. Yeah, so you do full hop here, but did you know you can tip her on this Yoshi's platform with short hop, right? And see, like, look, look at where they are, right? It's it's exactly like this height too. Oh, that, yeah, that'd be perfect instead, yeah, because they're still falling down there, and yeah, I can just do the short off, and yeah, for sure. Wait, um, let's do frame by frame too. Yeah, I think you could short out this because yeah. it's it, like it, it, I think it's pretty good yeah, for it. That's, yeah, that's definitely. That's yeah. And then even after this, I think you can double jump onto platform here, and then like up till maybe like. Mm. Yeah. But instead of just going back down to the ground, yeah. But yeah, honestly, I mean, the main thing is um, you're getting like, you know, a couple hits from these, but these can actually be zero to deaths or like close to it. Because mm. they're they're really juicy if you can get this like up air, oh, yeah. at, like knockdown or um, up throw. She could out a jump is like, should be in a bad spot. I agree. Um, so I guess what I should tell you to do is, okay, practice. Okay, no, this is more important than the, the approaching air stuff. Practice, oh god, practice um, juggling Sheik, short hop up air to cover Yoshi's, maybe maybe fountain? I don't know how that works. Fountain? Oh, uh, yeah, fountain as well. Fountain, yeah. Top plat? Um, no. Find out when you can or should go to top plat. Find out. Um, uh, my phone is going for an alarm. Let me turn it off one second. You're good. You're good. I mean, it's honestly kind of what we wrote up here. Um, hmm. I mean, honestly, we can watch some Zane too. Uh, but you don't play on Yoshi's in the set because <laughs> Zane did not lose. I oh no, he he went to FD instead. Hmm. Spark. Oh no, he does not lose to Spark. E three O Spark. Okay. Um. Ten months ago. Oh yeah, this is probably good. This might not be a set. This is a stream, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a stream. Oh, this reminds me of the one where Spark, like they're hand warming or something, and then Spark's like, "Yeah, I'm aggro and cool," <laughs> and then Zane was just hand warming or something. <laughs> Have you seen this before? Oh, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, basically, they're they're Zane just like warming up because it's like the first game they got into or something, and Sparks just like you know killing Zane, and Zane's like that's ha that's kind of rude, and and then Sparks just like talking to like I don't know his, his chat or something. He's like, yeah, I'm aggro or something like that, and then <laughs> and then Zane's like, dude, I wasn't even like playing the game, and then it's basically a joke that like Spark doesn't look at the screen or like look at his opponent. He just like you know, he's, yeah. he's just he's just going, he's just doing what he's saying. Yeah, <laughs> that's really funny actually. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna like, you know, watch it to see if there's any good combos. I'm sure we're gonna see some. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay, opportunity here. So this is exact it was really similar to your situation, right? Up till I see. Oh, and eventually, I noticed Zane forfeits the up throw, right? And just goes for, like, a tech chase on the ground. Be interesting. Yeah. But here, we're back yeah, at zero. I was like, I feel like I have more, a better sense of, like, okay, if I keep extending this punish, it's just gonna, like, be, um... I'm just, like, overextending at a certain point. Oh, yeah, like, what? Why? Zane, Zane did the same thing, like, here. He goes grab, like, full hop up there? That seems so weird. Yeah. I wonder if you meant to do short hop. That's so weird. Oh yeah, how does he get this? Oh, you're punching that. So they actually opt to go to top plat pretty early in case they they di around there. I guess pretty interesting. I guess it's true. If if they're up there and then you can land on here, it should be easier to combo than if you're like from the ground actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think so. so. 
Because yeah, then you want to full hop when you can. Interesting. If, if you can land up there, I guess. Okay, okay, let's watch this again. Oh, I've seen it before. Fair up air. So good. It's great. It's really good. <laughs> Okay, here. Sparkle's half is pretty funny. I think it's Sparky time to. I don't know. Interesting, yeah. I feel like Zane goes for a lot of fairs. I don't know exactly what, what the strategy is with them, if it's like easier to combo off fair than up air, but... I think it just, yeah, it's it like, because up air can kind of be kind of janky, and fair, if it tippers, it still like, does, sort of like functions the same as um the up air, but puts you in like, kind of in less danger. Hmm. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Like, up air... You're more like, off to the side, kind of. Yeah, I see. Why oh, you kill it, Sparker? Wow. Wow, Zane hasn't hit Spark in a while. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Zane. Zane. I know, Zane. Hey, don't you know we're studying here? <laughs> Mm, yeah, honestly, I don't know if, because Zane is a complicated beast, I don't know we'll be able to learn, like, a good up throw follow-up just from watching this. Like, I mean, you might need to talk to people, too. Are you in the Marth Discords? I, I am, yeah. I'm in the Marth Army Discord, and um, the Kadoran Discord, and um, the Marth Save State Discord. Oh, nice. Yeah, I feel like that, that'd be a good question to do, because, like, I don't know, it's just not obvious when fair to me, or up air is, like, better, or, like... Like, it looks like, okay, like, if they're not at a certain percent, Zane is not going to go through for up throw, up tilt just yet. But then, like, once up tilt, like, starts knocking down, it's like when he goes for, like, you know, the juicy juggles. But until then, it's tech chase. But even then, I, I don't I have a hard time discerning when the DIs. Yeah, I just know, like, at, like, below, I think it's below 20, you want to be, like, tech chasing chic or tech chasing to, like, as best you can. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then after that point, I mean, depending on the port, you can do up tilts, up through up tilts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but honestly, okay, let's just say that this is going to be your homework to practice it and figure out some things. Like, you don't have to master it, of course. Yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. Fair versus up air. Um, yeah, okay, this seems good. Just practicing juggling chic um, and building a percent, uh, learning how to shark, all this stuff. Yeah. And honestly, yeah, the, the, the sharking thing and being more patient is like, it's... um. I don't know. I guess um, if you do this type of thing in Uncle Punch, like you're practicing juggling, like you'll get a sense for when your combos are actually over, right? And then it's like, then you know you shouldn't chase pretty much. Like then it's back to like a neutral-ish situation. Like you can't be too super greedy for like 
that it'll be a win guarantee, you have to like play it actually like the footsies, like you're saying. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna blow my nose. One second. Okay, we we literally watched just a little bit of the game, but it's fine. Don't worry, I, I'm I'm so happy. Yeah. Oh, that was me. Like, <laughs> I think I was trying to read uh, the roll away. Mm -hmm. I'm just like reacting to what they were doing. Because I can still like walk over there, but if I still react to them, like getting uh, to Yiggs getting up on the left side, it still should be fine. I feel like you're just too far to the right because it didn't even hit the shield. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I am just too far to the right. Yeah. I, 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 if like I can go to there, but I have to like react to like, okay, they didn't roll away, so I should be F smashing to the left instead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, so then let's write this down. So, um, wait. Oh, this was, I, I wrote the thing down wrong. Um, slow clap, slow on, uh, like, oh, oh, this was the thing I wrote down earlier. Yeah, this is right. Fourth row reaction missed tech. Um, yeah, did late F smash. Um, and then this one was, uh, hmm, what, what was the setup here for Yiggs getting knocked down? Oh, it's four throw. I see. Um, so it's actually the same thing, yeah. Um, yeah, on ground, um, at high percent, uh, when leading to platforms, not reacting to roll direction going for a read, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but you know, it's, it is dropped. I think, it is thing too. I think so too. Like it, I don't know, actually, maybe maybe Mark that smash is kind of slow, but it's like, a, it's like a hard, like a tight, I think it's a tight frame, a tight frame to like react to it, but it's still reactable, definitely. Mm -hmm. Or, like, worst case, I'll just up tilt instead. Hmm, wait, yeah. So this is, I think, an example of what you were describing earlier. Like, look, you, you fare up here, and then you're in a bad position. Like, because you're going to land on this yeah. platform, right? Yeah. yeah. Um. Well, I mean, honestly, this is still part of practicing juggling, right? Um. Like, I guess something I would say is you don't really want to land on the platform unless you're the one comboing, right? Like... Unless Sheik's already in disadvantage. Yeah, and you're kind of just in neutral here, and like, because it missed. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how to write it down, um, but I think you know, you already know it, so it's not super yeah, big deal. You got that one? Nice. Okay, and this is something... <laughs> yeah, um, I want to see, is it because of the camera? see it again uh, no. probably the camera i probably thought i would i don't even i'm not sure probably because of the camera i want to say either that or like hmm maybe hmm. i'm not even sure um But I know this comes up a couple times, actually. So it's definitely something to, to practice. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you... Were you trying to grab here? Is that how you got jab? Uh, I... I... You got double jab. I'm pretty sure. I maybe either that or I'd be trying to down tilt probably. Maybe up tilt, but yeah, I definitely not trying to jab in that situation. Uh, 
I can't tell what you're doing again. I, it looks like a, you're doing the animation for something else, but I don't know what it was. And that, wow, well, I thought she, uh, like, asd it down, but she didn't even do that. There's just not, not a lot of slack in the chat. I'm just, I'm just positive. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She's just, it's chat's not that good right there. Yeah. Ooh, I can't believe that makes so much now. Um, I thought you were slow, maybe? Or maybe she was invincible. I'm not sure. Invincible here. Still invincible. Still invincible. Oh. <laughs> no, Sheik's is still invincible. That's a bummer. Yeah. Okay. Just a little too quick. Yeah. Um, okay. So that was back throw? Maybe? No. I don't know. Down throw, down throw. Down throw, down throw. I, I always get them confused sometimes. It's, it's a little weird, yeah. Especially because they descend in the the same direction for the most part. Um, yeah. Down throw. Um, was that a read? Do you think? Um, I think it was, I think it was partially was because I had just seen them like only either missing the tech or just tucking in place. So I sort of had a good like sense of, okay, they're just going to do the same thing. So I will F smash it. Yeah, that's true. She just has been taking place quite a bit here. And because it, it's hard to react to the throws and do everything right. Um, oh, yeah, exactly. Although, if you were punished, you know, this could have been a grab. <laughs> oh, yeah, for certain. For certain. <laughs> oh, here's the Nair, by the way. Oh, no. Exactly what you told me earlier. You're like, Sheik's on the platform, you Nair. Is he? Yeah, 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 there you go, yeah. Because it just cannot cover that diagonal uh, yeah. angle right there. And I think this is another high up E. Oh, no, it's fine. But, uh,. Yig's uh, adapted to this one, I think, low enough percent or something? Because earlier, um, this was working, the Nair off the ledge. I think they were at 100% early, yeah, there you go. In that situation, I think I'm just like, oh, I don't, I don't do that, but, um... <laughs> um, Nair at low percent off edge. Or, this is not miss execution, but it's like, um... It's like, just like, attacking, like, them off the ledge when they're CCing. Yeah, um... I don't think I do want to do that, I just do a down air instead, but... Uh, when they are CCing... So down air, you said? Okay. That's yeah, good. down air is, I think, the one thing that, like, it will break CC. Um, if I do, like, if I do, like, the sweet spot down air, I should say. Sounds good. Tipper down, down air, yeah. Otherwise, nothing else. Yeah. Nice air dodge. Oh yeah, did that poke? Um, I think so. Either that or I was, I was trying to shield grab the wrong direction. But I hope it's just a shield poke. Oh, you are light shielding here. Nice. Yeah, shield poke. Oh. Yeah, it did poke. That's unfortunate. You did everything right there. Although, um, between the hits, you can actually buff a roll. Um, like, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna get a little, I, I do my roll with the with the with the analog stick instead of the the C stick, and I definitely need to be like using the C stick to buff the break. Okay, I'm already down. Practice okay. um buffer roll with C stick in um pressure situations, in like shield pressure. Um, I do think this is important. I'm putting it above the protein air thing because you did get caught out of shield a couple of times. Like you're stuck in shield in this game. Yeah. Hmm, you're Zane right here. <laughs> okay, F throw, tech chase. Yes. Was that down smash intentional? Was it a read? Uh, yeah, I think I was just reading the tech in place again. Okay. Um, F throw, down smash, read on tech in place. Um, they teched away. Oh yeah, this was funny. I cannot oh, believe. Yeah. I definitely mean meant to wave dash back there, but sometimes it's like does the um I, I do uh, the jump instead. It's fine. I just that. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you, I'm pretty sure you did not mean to upbeat a ledge here, right? 
Um, you know. Or, or upbeat on stage. You meant to upbeat a ledge, right? Yeah, I meant upbeat. I meant upbeat. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you, Randall. <laughs> yeah, thank you. That's so weird. Nice light shield. Yeah, and then this we already talked about, right? You're just like so vulnerable up here because like you might get shield poked on your feet. Yeah. A bunch worse spots of escape too. Yeah. So, so what do you think you should have done? Uh, I think I can either just let me see. Like, yeah. After Maybe after you get on the ground here. Yeah, I feel like I can just crouch. I can just stand there. I can like hold shield. Probably not crouch, but like if I um, probably just like stand there or just hold shield. Um, maybe not hold shield, but like I think, just like not not jump. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Maybe hold shield and then like wait for them to either. Mm. I only think about shielding is I'm worried they'll just grab me and I die. But, mm -hmm. uh, I feel like just jumping also is not a good position to be. I think because they're coming down with the. Honestly, I can just wait for them to come down with that bear and then mm -hmm. either dash and grab them, uh, or just you know, down tilt them away, try and make some space for myself. Yeah, I agree. I think I think you have the right idea though that like. Jumping, if you trade here, you're gonna die, right? So it's like not even worth to the risk. Even if you can outspace, bear is a really good hitbox for Sheik, right? So like oh, yeah, yeah. It, sure. I think I think yeah, you're right. You either light shield and just get back to the ledge. You either try to roll in or like dash through or like wait like whiff punish a, like an aerial, right? Um but it does suck in the corner, like you're high percent, so you're probably gonna die anyways, but like um yeah. Just practicing safe ledge options, I think, which is related to um, this practice ledge options when they're CCing. Um, honestly, this is more important than the Nair, too. Neutrals is honestly like the least important thing in melee for a while. Yeah. That's <laughs> definitely like, one of the things I'm trying to work on a lot in Uncle Punch is just practicing ledge dashing. And I get yeah. the frame of Galen. I'm like, yes. Yes. <laughs> I can ledge dash shield. Yeah. <laughs> practice corner options. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Safe. That's a little odd versus Falco too, where I just like get so freaked out in the corner. And um move out of shield to take center. Um roll in. Stay on the edge. Yep, stay, yep, that's probably fine. <laughs> she cannot do anything. Ledge. Okay. And cause the truth is it's fine if you stay on ledge because you're not gonna time out in this matchup. So it's like Yeah. As long as you get up eventually, you're not gonna time out it. That's what I mean to say. <laughs> okay. So thoughts on this sequence? Uh, I think I wanted to short hop and probably and like short hop bear or something to like mm -hmm. like cover them slightly at the ledge. Mm -hmm. Um it's a little I like my general flow chart wants to be if I like down throw Sheik off of the stage I want to grab ledge. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why I'm like not I'm doing the short the jumping there instead. Okay. Then it sounds like this is another thing. And honestly, this is probably m even more important than this. So I would say practice down throwing Sheik at the ledge like what your flow chart is. Practice down throw Sheik at the ledge flow chart. Um like I know it's kind of like like, why would I practice those? Because this is kind of cheesy. But the truth is, you get this, you know, like, these opportunities come up, and, and you need to, like, take them. Look, man, yeah. she's going to just F-tilt <laughs> forward air me, so I, I'm i taking whatever I can get. <laughs> totally. Um, and honestly, um, so, you know, you said you were trying to short hop here. This is actually a recurring theme that we've we've seen a couple times, right, in your punishes. You, like, mean to short hop, too. Um, so, honestly, try to short hop. <laughs> short hop uh like for like one minute you know in your practice yeah and i mean i guess the important part is like when you're doing the 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 practical stuff like common chic that you can you know if you should short hop or full hop there right intentionally um know when to full hop versus short hop. So in practice it so it becomes intuition. 
If you don't know how to figure out which to do, ask Marcus on this one. Another high up B, by the way. Right? Yep, another bad up B. And you die off this one? Yeah. That's good that you die off it. I definitely was not even thinking about Randall. You grabbed the S smash. So confident. No. <laughs> okay, another um down throw. Uh I think you're looking for a read to look like. Uh yeah. Yeah, I think so. Down throw, read, um nothing. Nice. I know that was a that was a very uh, impatient up tilt. My shield poked. That's so funny. Oh, so, yeah, poor Mark. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Oh wow, you were actually actionable before she. That's so funny. Yeah. I guess it's just a high fare. Mm. I think you should... I should just down throw there, honestly. Because I'm not going to get anything off the um the up throw. And not anything like guaranteed, anyway. Okay. Then, um, other drop execution. Um, this is basically up throw at zero. I think you did double pummel. Yeah. Yeah. Um, basically up throw. F throw, probably. Yeah, F throw or down throw. Just like you want to like tech chase, even though you really can't tech chase Sheik, but you want to tech chase. Yeah. I mean, you can get it probably with reads, right? Which is better than. Yeah, exactly. You have throw and then, yeah, you can like read in something. Okay. Um, if, uh, yeah, down throw and a read times two. Yeah, I think I was like, oh, that was like, oh, okay, this is what they're gonna do. So I'm like, I think, okay, they're gonna dash tech my shield. So I will now roll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but like, Instead of grab, my yeah. Mind is way ahead of like whatever happening is on the screen. So they're like mm -hmm. far away. I'm mm -hmm. like already rolling. Wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, it's, ahead of my yeah, mid game adaptation is actually just so hard because it's, yeah, there's so many factors that you have to think about in melee. Um, yeah. But I was just gonna pause here. This is where you did the, the narrative. She could not hear. Ooh, I'm so much in that well, you got stuck in shield a couple times here. I think you're um turn wave dash out of shield or something. Like look, you, you just drop shield a couple times. That's to, yeah, that's supposed to be a grab for sure. Um, but I get the light shield instead. Mm -hmm. Empty pivot. I don't know how I lost my jump, but I definitely did lose it. Straight here. Yep, there it is. There it is. <laughs> That's classic. That's me trying to jump out of hit stun. Yeah, which is reasonable, but... Okay. So, I mean, honestly, all the stuff, I, I have no reason to think that it'll be, like, super different in the future games, but we can just watch one quickly and see if, like, it's... There's pretty similar stuff. Um, okay. So Yig's two. Oh, was the game three set? Was this a long? Oh uh, yeah. Uh yeah. This was uh, the last uh, not the last long, but the one before that. Gotcha. Nice. Ooh. I was a little late on the reaction there. Yeah. Uh, I also can just I also just turn around grab there instead. Yeah. Um let's write this drop punishes. I guess this goes in here. Um, F throw reaction to miss tech. So, F throw. Oops. Or or throw. I'm just, look at this. Up throw up air. Like it's not consistent. Um, forward throw reaction to 
attack in. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, I was curious what you got there. It was fair and lag? Yep. It was approaching fair, by the way, which closed the distance for she for she Yigs. Yeah, it was, it was beneficial for she that I did that. That was me reading the tech uh, away, or the tech, I guess that'd be tech away, or tech in. But. Yeah, it's here somewhere. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah, times two. Yep. Okay. But you get it a couple a couple times. Like, it, you get it, like, at a 50% rate, so it's not too bad. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for that. <laughs> I'm writing down the terminal order too, just in case. I was really lucky on the terminal order, but yeah. Wait, I shouldn't take space. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, I can be a bit scary because, like, if you're doing it just like without thought, she'll just punch you <laughs> in the face for taking that sort of space. Oh, hey, this looks there. familiar. <laughs> yep. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, yeah. So I actually lied. Yeah, it, it's gotten you killed a couple times. So so it is kind of important, but you know, it doesn't matter if they kill you if you kill them four times. So it's like. How's a read? S throw read. Reaction detect in. Um, where should this go? It's like, uh, we can we can combine all these later, but I'm, I'm just gonna write it separately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw, uh, read, um, tech in place, tech in. When, and Giggs, actually, we we, note, we wrote it down, so we can, like, see it in, in hindsight, Giggs is teching in, but, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do not like going to platform there. Hmm. And Yig's actually, yeah, Yig's actually adapted to this because it was like a similar situation, but just like. That was me taking space like very impatiently. Yeah, and like it, it's tough when you're in the corner, but you know, do you know what option would beat the F tilt there? Um, either just probably down tilt, um, or F smash, but probably down tilt more safe. Um, maybe grab, but it has to be like really like nice and tight. Um, yeah. I'll I was thinking grab actually because yeah, grab, like, grab also good. You're in shield here. I guess you move in, right? So it would be hard if yeah. you're still here and then she's here. This is honestly just really good like pressure because this is exactly what she kind of want to do. Like, I don't know. Can you um can you wave dash out a shield grab, F tilt or is it too fast? I don't know. I think it would be it probably, but it's probably like maybe I was like a frame or two of like you have to do it right. Yeah. Okay, then in that case, I wouldn't recommend it. But like, I guess um, I, even if you held light shield, then you would grab ledge, right? Which is not bad. Yeah, oh yeah, and then still should reset it back. Yeah, you know? but it's tough because that situation, like you're you're gonna die in a lot of the like the outcomes that are possible. So it's it's tough, anyways. You got a thinker, honestly. We, 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 yeah, we we watched Yiggs a, a bunch yesterday on stream. I don't know if you were watching yesterday. Yiggs, Yiggs definitely took some time. Which is nice. Ooh, get up attack. Okay. Yeah. Um. Oh, that might have been back throw, actually. That was a weird animation. That was down throw. Down throw. Okay. Down throw. Um. Okay. Okay, down, down throw, 
uh, missed reaction to te uh, miss tech get up attack. Yeah, I should just be crouching there. I'm not, not gonna jab. Yeah. I'm shocked I got that mash. <laughs> Oh, that was not. I think I, I, I'm pretty sure I wanted to get the grab, and I think my, it was more. That was more of an execution flub, actually, if I remember that right. Oh, you grabbed. You just went the other way, I think. Yeah, no, no. Like I wanted to like do like a dash forward and then turn around grab. Turn around, grab, yeah. Mm -hmm. But instead, I just didn't do that. Um, near tech chase. Uh, on tech in. I should do tech inwards because it's it's clearer from tech in place. Oh yeah. Oh, that was small. I think I got the auto cancel there into crouch cancel. I could have got the grab on there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Nice grab. <laughs> I know. Okay. Yep, that was too, probably too early on the up smash again. Yep, it was too early. So that actually has come up a couple times now, too. Um, take away his timing. Times two. Too early. And, okay, I know this looks like a lot. It's like, oh my god, I have so much to work on. But the thing is, you can prioritize it and, like, giving this improvement, like, one of these, you can win the set off, like, you know, one of these, right? Because it's, like, a stock taken. What's up? It was actually really close, so yeah, no, almost certainly. Yeah. It was a close set. Yeah, like, I feel like a bunch of these full hops you're doing are, like, miss, <laughs> miss, uh, executions. miss short hops. Okay, okay. Because basically, after you full hop, you're like, oh shit, like, I'm too close, and then you have to retreat, no, basically, no. right? If it is an intended full hop, it's me like, oh god, oh god, get me away from Sheik, I don't want to scrap right now. Yeah, but it, I guess, yeah, it's, it, it does look like it's something you want to practice, because... You, if you could short hop here, then like she is still under pressure. But when you full hop, then you're like, oh, I I mess up. I have to go back over here, right? Blow me and it's not good. that. Me not light shielding, and I think oh this is a this is light shield, I think. No, that's I think it's a hard. Oh, what am I? Oh, I think I'm trying to jump out of shield. Yeah, it's jump squat. Bummer. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so yeah, again, it's these down throw things. Um, down throw, uh, where is it? Oh, oh, we write it down down here, actually. Practice down throw chic at the ledge flow chart. Down throw, um, okay, this is actually like maybe even more important. Down throw chic at ledge times two flow chart. Yep. And then I uh, messed up the yeah, up the up B. Nice. Nice. Oh, I, I remember how this game ends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that sounds exciting. Oh, <laughs> this type of ending, huh? I see. <laughs> I see, I see, I see. Oh, also, my chat, I don't know how to refresh this, because this is from, like, when I raided someone. Like, but I, I don't have my chat, you know? I have no idea what people are saying in the chat. Hmm. Okay, maybe you'll do view. Box, chat, score. Oh, what's up? Viva Pigeon, Hawk Boss, they, they were here, like, yeah, 30 minutes ago. Can't see. Oh, you can't see the game? Oh, God. That's... <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. That's actually really funny. Yeah, that's uh, unfortunate. Uh, hope you have enjoyed our voices. Yeah, oopsie. Um, oh, actually, there's there's a way smarter way to do it, too. It's like, look, Melee, what's up? It's literally just, I, I, I put this smaller, and then I put the... Put the notes like on the side. I have never.
never ever stream, so this is actually really cool to see because I have no clue what this even like would look like normally. Oh, this is not gonna be beautiful. Mm, I mean, okay, and then can I make this like like the alt enter? Okay, there we go. And let's do. Oops. this okay yeah this is i mean you know it's it's kind of scuffed but it, it's working mm. okay and then when we play the game we're gonna look at this again we'll watch the beautiful last stock again or oh my god i definitely felt like a bit of a cheese lord but i was pretty happy about it anyway oh yeah this this looks fine now yeah that's perfect cool Yeah, honestly, I don't have anything to say about the last stock. <laughs> just like, I really do enjoy what F Smash can be used as an anti-air, and this is like, yes, <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. On the ground. Um, cool. So, honestly, like, I kind of feel like this is pretty good for analysis session because, like, uh, amazing. I'm yeah. Really happy with this. Sweet. Yeah, because I I will say also like something that's super annoying in melee is just there's so much to learn that you can overwhelm yourself easily, especially if like you compare yourself to like not realistic standards of like happening like in right this moment like I need to be this good like it takes time, so like yeah, yeah. Persephone says hello friends. Uh, hello Hi. Persephone. Good friend Persephone. Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, I think I think we can also do some work to reorganize this too, like because all these. Okay, it really is summed up by juggling and tech chasing, right? <laughs> that's it. That's that's it. Yeah. Um, but honestly, I mean, it's so interesting because in melee, like reads can be rewarded, right? Especially if like they work. <laughs> um, whereas reactions, like maybe it's less reliable. It's so interesting in melee to 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 value risk reward. Um, I, I guess find it so, like a better, like a better like if I like would grab for example instead of like doing an F smash on some of the tech in place or like what I'm reading is tech in places. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think probably like a better reward or not a better reward like probably is like a worse reward but like mm -hmm. way less risk to it. Like if I miss it, I can still spot dodge or shield or roll away and like not get punished probably. I think sure. I find like a better like punish option. Of reads versus reaction, um, okay, let's write this down. F smash versus reaction, well, F smash on the ground. Yeah. Because it seems like you usually just go for F smash on platforms versus reaction. If you, like, aren't sure about the reaction, you can probably up tilt, up tilt a little faster, but... Yeah. So you're saying, um, SF thinks a grab is more consistent, but less value. Um... Versus where it can, like... It can be a bit inconsistent on what you get off the grab, but it'll probably, like, if I miss the grab, I won't probably get... I have a better chance of surviving, <laughs> as it were. Wait, did you say it's inconsistent for what you get off the grab? Uh, I, I, it, it, can, it can feel like that, where, like, if I throw Sheik off the stage, or, like, I sort of miss, like, if I try and tech chase her, or I up throw and sort of miss the up tilt, it's like, okay, well, kind of back to neutral now. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh! So you're saying that's what contributes to the less value, but it's consistent yeah, because you'll get like three percent. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like there's less like of a guaranteed punish. Like if I f smash Sheik, and it's like okay, she's off stage. Mm -hmm. It's kind of an edgeguard situation now. Maybe I'll be able to like get some more damage off of it. Um, I see. Yeah, I think something you can think about too here is, um, and we didn't really go into this because we were kind of just focusing in on your drop punishes and like the the approaching like narrows or fairs and stuff right but, but another thing eventually to work in your gameplay and like you can try if this is something you're interested in is looking at the percents too for evaluating your risk reward like s smash becomes way higher value when it kills just like outright rather than like i don't think it's going to kill below 40 pretty much right 50. No, absolutely not so Unless there's like bizarre di on yoshi's story yeah so something i might and I can't really tell you if you were doing good value risk reward on this stuff because I, I wasn't looking at the percents myself. Do you think you know if you were or not paying attention to it? Um, I honestly definitely I'm not I'm not paying attention to it. I think cool. I should be paying attention to it more. 
then I'll say look at changes on percent. Yeah, I would say look at percents when you pummel. Like when you, you, you know you have the grab and you, you at least get one guaranteed pummel, you have time to look at the percent to know if like maybe I'll go for a read if it's gonna kill here. But otherwise, like uh you can get a grab. Especially I think um as you you know practice this stuff, like it's gonna be better to just go for a grab eventually, but like um I think it, it's still good to like have this in your back pocket, especially because once you like flesh out the flow chart of the up throw stuff, it's going to be percent dependent, right? So yeah. you, you need to know when you're grabbing what you're going to do. Yeah. I wrote a little note on my phone about <laughs> she up throw percents really up till now. Because <laughs> I nice. remember I think in game three, I just like missed every single one because I was not at the right percent. Yeah. Um, there were there some definitely in well, game one and two we saw. Look at percents when you pummel. Um, F Smash has a higher um, reward when you uh, uh when opponent is at kill percent um, f smash let's say like 60 percent plus because you can get an edge guard maybe grab um is good for damage building and honestly um because the thing um we saw with zane too is eventually um, even if you're at 100% or like whatever, oh chic, Zeke, uh, Zane's not gonna up throw anymore, right? But Zane still grabs to set up for like, I mean, I guess it's a reaction or a read with with up B, right? Yeah. For sure. That's definitely a thing I've tried. I've like learned more now is like, okay, if Fox and Falco are like at 120, <laughs> not be up throwing. Yeah, that's true. Literally, yeah. nothing's gonna come from it. Yeah. Then I will cheese them with the back throw. Let's go back row. Let's go back row. Yeah. It's so funny, like, when I talk about melee, because, like, for a long time, I tried to learn neutral, and because I'm like, oh, I'm Jigglypuff, right? It's fine. Like, I, I need to learn neutral because, like, um, because, like, the, the punish is so obvious. Not, not actually it's that obvious, but... And then, uh, like, when I started watching, like, how often I just, like, missed every single rest, like, it's like, wow, I could have, like, I could, like, four stock all these games, right? If I just didn't miss any of these, right? So it's like, oh, my God. Um, well, okay, not, not four stock, but... My, my neutral is so much better than my punish games. Like, ah, oh, it's totally fine. It's like, then I start practicing my punish, like, wow, I'm actually getting better now. And, like, things are going much better for me. Yeah. Because um, the thing is, too, true... Oh, the thing is, too, I think, like, if you don't have a good like punish game fundamental then the neutral game like means nothing right it's kind of like yeah. oh yeah things change so much better when like the opponent has to respect your punish game and it's like okay there i'm gonna like get i'll eat a bunch of percent if i do a bad thing here yeah so, like, you're not do... you're not actually playing the same game because especially because like if they don't know how good you are or, like you think you know your punish is this threatening and they think it's different or something like then it's a different type of like neutral interactions like they're they're evaluating the risk reward differently Hmm, how can we organize this? I mean, honestly, we said it earlier, it's overall um, tech chases. Um, like, I would say a good amount of misreads. Yeah. And unsure about uh, how to, like, systematically um, juggle combo. Yeah, yeah. That's, that sums it up. And so honestly, like, I think these are all things that you might want to practice an uncle punch for like, you know, like five minutes, one minute, depending on how important you think they are, right? To like, make sure you understand the timings, because the fact that you're not understanding the timing for taking place is is actually like a... Oh my um, god, yeah, I've heard like actually <laughs> practicing like doing, learning the Fox Falco Falcon tech in place animation. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it's so fucking hard. It's so hard. It's so bizarre. I don't know how I get away with it. Oh yeah, like... I mean, honestly, I bet some of them are reads, and, like, something I've noticed, it's really funny, because sometimes people compliment me on my, like, tech chase rests. They're like, oh, man, you're so good at them. But it's it's actually funny, because I'm actually just fucking it up, but, like, um, because... <laughs> and I, I'm like, oh, yeah, thanks. Like, I have to say thanks, because otherwise it's awkward, right? But... Yeah, I was like, oh, I was just messing up. 
Yeah, no, I, I mess it up, but like, cause I actually did not, I was like too slow to react to tech in place. Like I would have missed it if you teched in place, but because I was slow, it's easier to react to, to tech roles because that's all I can cover, right? Like at that point. Um, so, and, or there's moments like that where it's like, I actually didn't react properly. Like I accidentally read or something. So I, I pressed it earlier than I'm actually when I was reacting, like I, I just did it on read. And then they're like, wow, great reaction. I'm like, oh, I'm it, it wasn't a reaction. <laughs> But um, I know what you mean. Like, sometimes it works out. And, like, sometimes your reactions are just good, right? But it's consistency thing that will make a difference in taking, like, however many stocks you need to win the set. For sure. Yeah. I don't know. What having is, like, um, I, I just, I finally, I became an Uncle Punch patron so I can finally get the, the new version of um, the training mode where you can mm -hmm. use um, save states. Mm -hmm, I'm mm -hmm. being in the Discord and it's just like, ah, here's a save state for, like, Edge guarding all these characters, or good to get off a throw. I think it'll definitely be an easy way to like practice all these things. Totally, yeah. Those are high value. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and and what I love too, actually, about unranked, um, I, I've had a better mentality about unranked recently when I like am specifically going in to practice something, and or or if I'm just doing it to have fun, then I just like you know don't even care about anything, just have fun with it. But like if I like. I'm practicing, for example, like, um, I don't know what I'm practicing, like, like drill rest or something as puff. Then I literally just spam it the whole game. And like, I don't even like look at what they're doing. Like, I don't care if I lose or win. And it's just like fun for me. Cause I'm like, oh, I got it first as a human opponent. Like kind of, kind of human. Um, and yeah. Yeah. And you just get to, you know, practice and like, you can sprinkle it in like some other stuff, like your autopilot neutral or autopilot punch for other things. And you don't have to worry about that. Cause you're just focusing on the success of like you getting the opportunity to practice, uh, some of the stuff in a game. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. Um, okay. I wrote a lot of this. I would recommend like, honestly, um, I'm gonna go I like this a lot. I'm really happy. Thank you so much. <laughs> This yeah, no game. problem. I, yeah, I thought this was super fun too. Um, and okay, yeah, like cause there's kind of a bunch of garbage here. Like that is not that important, or like we repeated yeah, stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I was just saying like it's or there's some stuff that's like overrepresented or like or like duplicated stuff like that. So I highly recommend you look it over, and like you just like take things from this list to you know you work into your like okay I want to practice and improve at this thing, and like that's all you need to focus on because. As it is right now, like, I mean, I'm sure it's different for different people, but I would be overwhelmed looking at this and being like, ugh. Or like, so I would need to do more work on this list to refine it. And like, especially because I was the one who wrote it, I think it's probably not as, you know, ingrained for you, even if you're the Marth player. Yeah, I get you. This is awesome. Thank you, Zach. Thank you so much. No problem. This was fun. And honestly, I, okay, I thought we were doing this for longer. I have right now that we're, we've been live for an hour and 20 minutes. So like, not that long of an analysis section, actually, but it was good. I hope you're excited to practice some punishes, up throw, and honestly, I guess all of them have to do with grabs, pretty much. It's either up throw for juggling or, or tech chase. Yeah, yeah. It's so, yeah, that's like, that's it. That's Marth. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, yeah. Like, you, you got enough grabs to win the set. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's something I'm trying to think I'm trying to practice a lot, is just what I can get off a of grab. Just, like, what I can do off of it, because I feel like I used to just not be very good at what I can get off grabs. I mean, honestly, I, I, I've always thought you were pretty good <laughs> when I watched you play in, in the long streams. and like, dang, this person's pretty good. Obviously, they're a Kadoran Patreon sub, Twitch sub, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, look, you know, look, I'm not, I'm not going to gap. I just, I like watching Kadoran VODs. I like trying to copy Kadoran. It's okay. Yeah, no, it's good. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, um, also I was going to say, if you ever need any help setting up the save states, because I'm also, you know, like, I'm, I guess I'm not ex as experienced as that, uh, the Marth player who set up the save state discord. I can't remember their attack. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're, they're a god. They're a genius. Yeah, but I am also a reasonable resource if you need help for any of that stuff. So yes, let me know. Yes, please. Yes. Yes, that'd be great, actually, because I am clueless. I look at 20XX, I'm like, wow. I don't get this. <laughs> oh, yeah. I I'm kind of a 20XX new, but there is a really good KGH video. I wonder if we could find it. Hopefully nothing embarrassing shows up here. Yeah, it was all fine. 
Okay, it's fine. <laughs> League of Legends, another stop, Ludwig, uh, 20XX. Yeah. This, this looks about what I would have. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's an hour long, but it's a really good uh, video on 20XX if you prefer 20XX. But I think, um, because the thing is with Uncle Punch, there are some nice things that aren't 20XX, but there are also some bugs, so. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Zach. Well, of course. No problem. You can send me the, the Venmo, of course. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, no, I will. <laughs> Here is my $100. I will uh, be sure to follow his Metify. Uh... <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, everyone, for this type of analysis, you need tier 3 Twitch sub, of course. <laughs> All that stuff. Just kidding. The gift is up that I have. Oh my god, you're a gifted... No. <laughs> I didn't even know you're a sub, so, you know, thank you. Um, uh, do Oh, Divine262000, or oh, 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 for Ledge Fiend. Thank you, Ledge Fiend, for gifting. I fucking love the emote so much. <laughs> well, thank you, Mukabo. Mukabo's the artist for it. That's so good. It's so good. Mukabo's a genius. Mukabo's a genius. Persephone's still here. What's up, Persephone? Hey, Persephone. Wow, isn't that kind of weird? Persephone has a Founders badge, but I don't have a Founders badge. <laughs> Dang, wow, that's uh, that's kind of crazy, Zach. It's uh, yeah, Persephone. Persephone was basically here before me. That's kind of that's kind of crazy. That's, I don't even know how that works. You were here longer, but she she made you, but you were here longer. Yeah, I mean, basically, I wouldn't be here without Persephone. Is what which is saying. I agree. Boy, honestly. Okay. Well, Seth, I will talk to you later. This was fun. Um, and of course, if you want to do this again sometime, I'm happy to. But I think you have more than enough stuff that... I'll let you know, because I would love to do it again sometime. Yeah, I'm... Another one character. Yeah, I'm, I'm free. So just let me know. And this was fun, because uh, like, I enjoy doing this type of stuff. So anyone else out there, too? Okay, but I'm going to peace. Bye. Peace. Persephone said, play melee with me, Zach. Um, I'm going to eat, so maybe another time, Persephone. And I might sleep soon, because I've been really degenerate lately, and the people in my life have been saying, Zach, why are you up so late? Why are you waking up so late? I'm sorry. Turn that on. Um, yeah, Persephone, maybe after I eat, but... Just for a little bit. Don't tell if, if the people in my life are watching the stream who are telling me to sleep early, I I, I promise I'll sleep after. But may, maybe for some, for a little bit, maybe. But I wouldn't get your hopes up because honestly, we should both sleep. It's almost midnight. And good night, everyone else. Oh, I see SF's already editing the doc. Oh my god, good for SF. I approve.